could it be? Oh, hello, Patrick. How lovely it is to see you. Huh, my elf Vivia and I were actually looking for a page from your big book. I think a naughty elf wanted to look at it and forgot to put it back where it belongs. Oh, you found it. Huh, look at you. You're 11 years old, aren't you? And you're doing very well at school. Beautiful. Yes, Vivia, put it in a safe place. Patrick! You can use my portable North Pole console to contact me any time. We love having you with us. Many surprises are waiting for your next visit. Goodbye and Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Clapped. you, you put this put this down. Oh, well, you dropped your phone at the same time All as right, the clap. clap again, bitch. There we go. And another clap for Christmas, y'all. <laughs> Try sinking that, slow Jubio. Clap. Slow clap for Christmas. That's disrespectful, man. Slow clap is more respectful than fast clap. No, slow it's not. Clap slow, clap. slow clap is sarcasm. No, slow clap. Dude. No, slow, is, slow, slow clap is sarcasm. Slow clap is slow. No, that's because sarcasm. you guys are irony poison no, grinches. No, slow clap is like this. Like, yep. No, that's... Well that's a, done, well yeah, done. Yeah, if you say well done, well done. <laughs> and it, well, but that's, <laughs> imp that's an implied sarcastic. well done. If you, no, yeah. no, 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 a no, slow no, clap no. Is a slow clap is you do something, you think, oh my God. I fucked up. I slow flopped. Clap, I took the L. No. Suddenly you hear one cap, guy. You hear one guy near the back. Yeah, but it has to rise. He stands up. If it turns into rupturous applause, yeah. then it is not sarcastic. Mm -hmm. But if it is the only okay, say this. Say you know, listen. We're say, we're, we're stand up okay, comedians, right? Mm -hmm. So imagine you're up there and you say, "Clap it up if y'all like movies." And one guy, and one guy just like this. You're doing a sarcastic face. I don't know what you're all you're doing all situations. Obviously it's not sarcastic when you say when we say a slow clap for Christmas, it's a respectful like God, I can't even believe it. I'm a suit and tie. Okay. So tell me this, man. Business you man. you mentioned the Grinch. Mm. And would the, if you said clap it up for Christmas, who in this place likes Christmas? Do you think the Grinch would the Grinch give a would normal clap, clap or a slow clap? He wouldn't do anything. He would definitely he would, slow, well, he would not, slow why would he slow clap? He would slow clap. No, the he wouldn't. The Grinch would first slow of all, clap. First of all, he would not. First of all, nobody would be able to tell he was slow clapping because he'd say clap for Christmas. Everybody in the room was going nuts. Mm -hmm. Also, he couldn't hear him. his claps anyway because his hands are made Furry of fur. Yeah, he he wouldn't clap. Why would he? He would boo, dude. He wouldn't slow clap. What are you talking about? Depends on which Grinch. You don't know the Grinch at all. Depends on which part of the movie you're at, man. That's true. I guess if he liked Christmas, he might slow clap. So mm -hmm. I made my point. Yeah, I guess you yeah. made your point. What is that drink you're drinking? It smells. It smells a stinking. Perps. Perps. <laughs> I don't know. I picked this. The, the fuck is perps? Berry superfruit organic energy. There's no GMO, no preservatives. Oh my god. No gluten. That actually sounds pretty good. If they and want no soy. If they want to give us a Christmas gift, perps. Perps, Can I look perps? At it? Yeah, I guess. It's <laughs> Why does it have a picture of legs on it? <laughs> Why does it have a picture? It of makes legs? you run. <laughs> okay, makes, makes you sense. run fast. I guess I don't know. Uh -huh. perps. Check it out. It's just a new energy thing I'm trying. Oh, yeah. it's vegan. Oh, do oh, I it's, see? It's keto friendly. Do I seem piped the fuck up off this perps? It's I wish smells, I got some perps. Uh, it smells crazy. It I smells can, like shit. I can smell this. Okay, and I'm I'm recovering from illness, so I can't smell anything. Mm -hmm. I can smell the can. There's like, a little from drop. This. There's a little There's a drop lot, that's about to hit the thing. It's coming. It's it's coming out of the can and and getting to my nose. Mm -hmm. Ask me anyway. how it tastes. How does it taste? Like shit. <laughs> So bad. From I this earth, perps. It really com. Fast. perps unites nature and science to promote your life's health. We don't make excuses. We do not jeopardize our standards. Hmm. There we go, man. See, that is some Christmas shit. Yeah. And you know what? I was at directions, the store. Directions, drink one serving per day. <laughs> they, it has directions <laughs> on the drink? It says, it says directions, drink one serving per day, serve cold. Also, at the top, it says servings per container and then no number. I like that. It just says servings per container, nothing else. Wow. I got it for myself as a little Christmas gift. I am yeah. so this I honestly, guys, last week we flopped on the first week of Christmas cuz uh -huh. we couldn't get it done, right? Yep. Because mm -hmm. of extenuating circumstances. Sickness. Yeah. Well, I mean, can I just can I just say Cat guys, vet appointment. I, I need to I need Don't. to I need to come clean right now. I need to tell you guys that this past week I was going through hell. I was being tortured. 
Yeah. I was being slaughtered alive. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I was staring the Grim Reaper in the face yeah. every second of my life. What you looked look like? it. I grabbed him by the neck. I ripped his damn head off. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. And I put my fingers up his... Well, bones. No, I, didn't do, I didn't do that. Put uh, your fingers up his bones. True. But guys, I see it's not sarcastic. Or if you think it's sarcastic, maybe you... You're so rude to me well, about, this, not, about my suffering, man. I'm trying I'm to tell you is that God tried to strike me down before Christmas. He tried to show me a reality mm-hmm. where Christmas could be ruined mm-hmm. by the weakness of the flesh, you got by, by the spoilage of the body. But my spirit rose up, and I literally returned to 100,000% strength after recording. And to, we're, we're recording a bunch of backup episodes, so we're doing them all in a row. But the one we recorded yesterday, where yeah. I was, but the last episode that came out that was very sick, where I was very sick and, and my brain was addled, yeah, mm-hmm. we are we're twenty four hours after that, maybe and less. Magic and I'm uh, I'm at, I'm operating at one hundred and fifty percent. The power of like Christmas, shit. you know what? And friendship mm-hmm. has restored me, and my soul is thrumming. You, you know what looked like shit? You, you sounded like shit. I couldn't keep it together. You were I was filled with negativity. And now I, I have nothing but positivity. Even the face of people being strangely weird to me right now. Just I'm clapping. St- I don't even... You were, you were, you I'm were talking did. about that well, more yeah. than the clapping. What did I say? I said that you... I said, <laughs> okay, before this, be- before this, you looked, sounded, and acted like a pile of crap. But look at you now. You were visited by the ghost of sickness present. I became the ghost of Christmas. Wow. Oh I God. left my body you and I got taken full, on a journey. You got turned into a Scrooge by mm-hmm. sickness, mm. and then you had a miraculous mm-hmm. turnaround. That's incredible. I would say less of a Scrooge, maybe more of a Tiny Tim. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got turned into Tiny Tim. I got turned into Tiny Tim. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. And then you were yeah. saved by Which Scrooge. Is, uh, that's, the, that's one of the morals <laughs> of A Christmas Carol, is that Tiny Tim is, is supposed to be the character you... you does the, Tiny the, Tim... The, you're not supposed to root for ruins, him. Ruins Christmas. Yeah, he you're not supposed to root for him at all. No, of course not. Imagine you don't want him to get better. You know, but what if, you, what if you went over to your, your family, you visited your family for Christmas, you get, you get mm-hmm. there, and one of your family was like, oh... Yeah. Oh, Great. Oh. Now Christmas isn't about Shut Santa. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I want to open up my remote control. It's Mammoth. about Aunt Jeanette's <laughs> leg. <laughs> Christmas Mammoth. is now about Aunt Jeanette's leg. Yeah, yeah exactly. Shut the fuck if up. You Shut up, go, Aunt If Jeanette. you go to your Christmas in America and you have one cousin who's an eight-year-old British boy who's sick all the time and has yeah. tiny legs, get Do the that. fuck out of here, Flick Tiny him. Tim. Flick him over. You're ruining Christmas. Mm-hmm. Fucks me up. Does Tiny Tim get cured at the end of that yeah. movie? No. He just gets a goose. Yeah, he's, the what? goose is gonna kill him, bro. He, he gets a goose. And he's he still just gonna gets die. A boiled goose or whatever. That or sucks, dude. Goose. He has some kind of he has polio boiled or goose something. Just goes, to sh- just, just goes to show you the strength of capitalism. Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what it's all about. That is true as fuck, man. Yeah, and that's what's kind of disgusting to me about this Christmas uh-huh. season. It's I about like Christmas wants. more than anybody. It's about people wanting stuff. So, yeah, for other people, Christmas is about toys, and it's about capitalism going to the mall. For me, it's more about snow. Mm-hmm. And oh, and, snow. and this is a point I wanted to make. I it snowed am, this morning. Too. I literally am so excited about Christmas and so ready for this to be the first day of Christmas. And then I walk outside to go get the decorations to decorate the set. And you guys, you did a great job. It starts snowing. Thank you. It looks incredible. <laughs> <laughs> it looks so festive. It right? looks amazingly festive. And I'm gonna put this tree right in front of Patrick. And it was, I him. put it in front of you. It was in front of you. For you the most got of fucking it. owned. Man. Did you see my bow I tied? The Doesn't it look? Is really, too it big. looks amazing. Really man. festive and beautiful. The yeah. tree isn't too big. Man. This is the perfect spot for it. Okay, if you want to have it that close to you. Oh, I look so festive. You mm-hmm. look amazingly cute. I'm not gonna fucking lie to look you. Look at me and Cameron next to the tree. And guys, at- when I woke up this morning, I stunk. You yeah. stunk bad. I stunk worse than I stunk in my entire life. Did you take a shower? Yeah, I showered. So it's mm. cured. And An- that's what I'm saying. I've I've literally cured. been born again. This is I, this my shower day. this morning. I was in the shower. All I could think about, you know, your typical shower thoughts. You think what happens after we die? What happens after yep. we eat and inside of our body with the yep. digestive system? This type of thoughts, scientific mm-hmm. thoughts. This shower thought, my only thought I could think, hallelujah. That's not a Christmas mm. song, though. Hallelujah. Um, Maybe not for what you. What on earth? It's about, yeah, what on uh, heaven on earth? Huh? I'm sorry, I got distracted by Christmas the is about Jesus Christ. Yeah, Christmas is about Hallelujah is not about it's a about baby some born kind in a manger of in Bethlehem. New cord. I'm well. First of all, I was are you thinking sing- of a different Hallelujah? Because you were singing it just like Leonard Cohen's. I'm singing that. I'm singing it not because I was the shower didn't make me think of Christmas. It made me be clean and think Hallelujah. Oh, yes. it I would have been better if the shower made you think of Christmas. Why? Because it's festive. 
It would have made. I think you just weren't paying attention. And you're just I think that I got. I think I got me. distracted by an ornament. Yeah, the tree's gonna come over here so that you can't touch it and be distracted I think that by I it anymore. Got distracted by an ornament. That's yes. okay. Uh, we have so many amazing things planned for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I yeah. mean, I, I feel like that's obvious. You know, you know us. We have. Yeah. Uh, Ten or how many episodes was in four weeks? Four, eight, oh, eight. E eight amazing, <laughs> eight amazing Christmas episodes planned for you. Mm -hmm. The eight days of Christmas, the four weeks of Christmas, uh, the deck, the set is all the decorated. Four weeks of Christmas. My, the podcast, podcast came, came to, to me. me. One, One episode, episode two another episode, yes. three episodes, four episodes, five episodes, six, six episodes, episodes, seven episodes, and a premium on the Patreon. Wow. On, on, <laughs> on, on, on Patreon. There we go. So today we have done a complete... Um, we stole a... Sack. I guess it'd be a crime, actually, right? We did a crime. I f we found it. Okay, we found it, allegedly. We found a sack of letters, mm -hmm. uh, and I think the... The bag know, said north to the North Pole. The bag said directly to the North Pole, mm -hmm. and uh, it had a label on it. Um, we're not going to give the address out to the North Pole. One because. Santa's Lane. Don't. Come on, man. That's you can't dox. That is actually illegal. Yeah, that's not right. All right, my bad. Fucking idiot. Sorry. And you can't say that it's in Wonder uh, Santa's Wonderland either, what dude. You, you fucking idiot. And oh you God, can't say that stop. the the what you call the post enough code, enough uh, tw twelve twenty five. <laughs> You're gonna get us in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna get us in trouble. Stop it. Every single year, <laughs> they change it every year to try and hide from people. Yeah, yeah. they yeah. should. Um, all right. Can you imagine living in the Christmas zip code? Oh. So we all have letters here. Uh, amazing letters that um, we're hoping are for Santa Claus, and yeah, me too. Uh, we will. Pr I promise you. You know us. We we will eventually get these to the North Pole. Yes. Yeah, we'll we get are, them where we're just going. we're we're kind of a middleman intermediary. We're always yeah, we're looking for something to do for Christmas. So listen, if you intercept a sack full of letters for Santa, you you're allowed to read them out. Yeah, and exactly. Open them and do whatever yeah. you want. No, with it's them. fine. I mean, we're we're just checking them for poison. How about that? Yeah, because there might be some. You know, you should and maybe taste some test of these, these Christmas wishes we could even help fulfill. Yeah, mm -hmm. I because what are we but Santa's little helpers? Right, right. exactly. Santa That's what soldiers. I was saying. I'm Santa's toy soldier. He can do with me what he wants. I'm Santa's street soldier. All right, which one? Who wants to start? Um, I let me see. If this is I can start. Okay. Um. Oh, this one is in Spanish. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, I have one too. Hola Santa, me llamo Jubio. Para Navidad me gustaría conocer a Kai Sinat. Quiero salir con él. Wow. And there's a little, there's a little uh, drawing. A drawing. Oh, can, that's so cute. Can you hold that up to the camera yeah, to show no, everybody? I'll hold it up to this. Wow. Wait, oh, wait, that's is that, who's that? That is, I guess that is Jubio and Kai Sinat. Oh, my God. In front of the Christmas tree. <laughs> you guys look insanely happy. Yeah. Holy shit. That's a Christmas miracle. That kind of reminded me of this letter I have, man. Oh, you? Oh, really? Yeah, this is from Julio. Oh. oh. Dear Santa Claus. Quiero que esta Navidad sea la mejor Navidad de todas. Quiero un libro rojo grande, una tarjeta de biblioteca y un jugute sexual. Quiero aprender de e deletrear y e atarme los zapatos. Soy gay. Soy... <laughs> <laughs> Soy estúpido. <laughs> Atentamente, Julio García. <laughs> Wow. Oh, my goodness. Julio, Another could you translate letter. that yeah, for us? Yeah, I can that? understand. Can you say what you said in this letter and why you sent more than one? Um, I want a Nintendo Switch. <laughs> it did Is not that say. What that said? I think it says, I want a big red book. <laughs> I want a... I want a uh, library card, and I want a sexual toy. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right. And something about shoes. But huh. who knows? You have one. Here, uh, uh, yeah, Cam Cameron. Let's see yours. Let me read one. Okay. Well, Ooh. this one says, uh, "Dear Santa, I want a Funko Pop for Christmas from the Soy Boy." <laughs> no. 
Wow. Rip that up yeah, right to now. Get rid of that shit. Rip that get shit. Get rid of up. that shit. That one is not. I, 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 I know that's a federal crime. That. I know that's a federal crime I'm to take someone to go else's to jail. mail for that. Uh huh. That's going to. That's you go the to jail. Soy boy. Really? Oh you go to jail. Really? You that's your the, name. Really? That's your name. The soy boy. You go that's to jail. Really your name. You tell the highest. <laughs> level gang member that you ripped up the soy boys mail they're gonna make you second in command they're gonna that's respect right. your ass uh -huh. man. that's immediate respect what yeah. kind of sick fuck it changes their name to the soy boy <laughs> that's so disgusting to me ew man oh my that's so God. cringe hunt man. Him down and kill him yeah dude i hate here, I that i have shit. A, you know what we'll lift our spirits i have a letter here that i can read okay and i'm sure oh look there's a little there's a tree and a heart on it Aww. that looks so cute already wow Dear Santa, hello, my name is Amy. I am a 10-year-old girl from Kansas City, and I am so excited for Christmas this year. This year has been, well, interesting to say the least. My mom and dad divorced, and my older sister is in the hospital for issues related to body image. She throws up when she eats hamburgers. This year has been so stressful for me and my family, and the only thing that would make it better would be if... Jubio from Podcast About Lists <gasps> sang a Christmas song. Oh, my God. I love Jubio, and so do all the other girls in my grade. <laughs> I even have a poster of him on my bedroom wall. He talks to us in its Discord server called Jubio's Angels, but he never sings to us. If you could make that happen, it would be a dream come true. Thank you, Santa. Love, Amy. Now, Jubio, are you going to sing a Christmas carol for little Amy? Hello? No. No. no? Uh, what? You're not going to let this little girl's You're wish come her true? for Christmas? Her sister's in the hospital for hamburgers. She has a hamburger throw-up disease. And, and you won't gonna... you won't even sing a Feliz Navidad? That is messed up, man. You can't even sing uh O Tannenbaum for her? Sing O Tannenbaum. Come, Come on, on. sing O Tannenbaum. Got to be the best Christmas carol. We'll oh, sing it with yeah. you. O Tannenbaum, O Tannenbaum, bleep 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 Germany. When air is schneid, oh <laughs> you actually know. O I know one word. Yeah. Well, it seems I know one line. Uh, Jubio is fully grinching out <coughs> on us today. Jubio and is being a complete grinch yeah. right now. Refusing to sing to one of his little. Also, what's his deal with his little a Jubio's, Jubio's angels. angels Discord server? I want to. Yeah, know. you gotta shut that down, man. Yeah, we've told you that's, that's not okay to do, man. Hello? Are you there? <laughs> 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 Okay, I have a let's see. I got a letter. <clears throat> this is also from from a little uh, from a little one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, aw, how sweet is that? It seems like we've taken a lot these are a lot of from kids. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird that we didn't get that many adults in our letters it's from Santa. Kind of weird, Santa, right? Yeah, yeah, I feel like mostly kids I guess it and makes Mexican sense. guys. <laughs> 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 this is from Little Ben. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello Santa. This year, the only thing I want for Christmas is world peace. Aww. Oh, oh my God. Little Ben. That's so cute. War, disease, social disorder. How could I sit here and wish for big red fire trucks or super powered action figures when some people are struggling just to afford basic human needs? What a smart little kid. It would just be selfish. And that's the problem with this world. Selfishness. Selfish corporate CEOs and money-hungry politicians hogging all the wealth up top and leaving the little guy with nothing. Little Ben. All the way at the bottom. He's probably referring to himself yeah. Yeah. or his family, at least. Is he related to Big Ben? <laughs> he could be a clock. <laughs> uh, all the way at the bottom. I just wish I could do something about it. You know what, Santa? I finally decided what I want for Christmas. I want a voice. <laughs> I want a say in what direction the winds of change blow. A say in the future that I'm inheriting. When I grow up, I'm going to run for president. Wow. wow. And I'll make sure that never again does another immigrant enter this country <laughs> illegally. <laughs> 
into this country illegally to impregnate a white woman. <laughs> little Ben. <laughs> little Ben. <laughs> little, <laughs> little Ben, what the hell are you what saying? The hell? Right now, I'm 31, so I should be able to run for president by 2028. <laughs> oh. And when I'm president, every border of this country will be protected by nuclear bombs and big red fire trucks to put an end to you illegally flying over the border. Go back to your igloo, you disgusting red snow pig. Holy shit, Whoa. little Ben. Little Ben, what the fuck? I thought fuck? you were a little ass kid. What a turn yeah. little Ben has made. I didn't know you were a grown man going by little Ben. <laughs> I mean, his first name could be little, I guess. Little, yeah. little John. Little John, little yeah. John. Little could Richard. Be, little I know, Wayne. yeah. Little Wayne. There's all, Actually, there might be more little There's men more little than little boys. Yeah. <laughs> At least in pop culture. That's huh. so true. Little yeah. Ben, you seem like a bastard, man. Yeah, you I, seem but like what a I prick. Didn't understand, it seemed at first maybe he was... Uh, maybe I guess at the end I was kind of curious whether he was just racist against people from the North Pole or if he maybe also was having some. I think he's racist against every. Well, he said uh, another immigrant illegally entering the country to impregnate a white woman. Yeah. Right. So I thought. Which that's I don't what, think that yeah, doesn't sound like something like, Santa's done. That I'm, but I'll it say could, it. It could be an elf. I'll well, say it. That letter gave me the ick. Do we know where Mrs. Claus is from? Yeah, we Mrs. Domestic Germany. Investigations. We found that out years ago, but I don't remember it. She's got to be from America, right? She's from some place, so I don't <laughs> know. Okay, I got another one here. <clears throat> Dear Santa Claus, for Christmas I want to be a bad bitch. Right now I'm fuck? mid and I barely have a get. I want a BBL so I can twerk. I need to have big butt and boob. Riz. I'm mm -hmm. practically an NPC right now. Oh, no. But I want to level up my body. I want to be a baddie with a bubble body. And that is from Taylor Swift. Oh. Taylor. T-Swizzle? Honestly, be a that woman. does kind of break my heart to know that yeah. Taylor Swift thinks that the about herself is, when she's one of the most stunning Swift, women on the world stage. You are the baddest bitch in the universe. Mm -hmm. Okay? You already have a bubble body, girl. You There's look no like question. a complete bubble. You look like a bubble. You are honestly borderline like fat to me. Taylor Swift. You look disgusting. Your gat, your gat is there. It's, it's there. there. It's there. It's there. You don't need to improve that <laughs> thing uh -huh. anymore. You look this is where your gat is. This is where you think it is. Uh -huh. And you're hardly an NPC. You're the man of the year. You're literally you main character. You are the man of the year. Your main, main character is You are time sure. man of the year. Yeah. So don't beat yourself up over that shiz. Okay. And Santa can't give you that, by the way, Taylor Swift. And you shouldn't be writing to Santa either. No, you're an adult. you should be writing to a doctor in Beverly Hills because mm. that's where you can get that done. Yeah, true. Or, or you go overseas and you have to sit on the plane backwards. Yeah. yeah. Have yeah, you that seen usually, that? Usually that happens a lot. Um, I have a letter here. It looks like it's from a little boy. Yes, it is from a, a, a little boy. And it says... What you can reads, tell just by the handwriting? Yes, I can tell by the handwriting. It looks very uh, juvenile. Yeah, it looks like <laughs> shit. I can tell some, but nobody who went to his finished primary school wrote this letter. Yeah, There's no, no way. Look no, at that handwriting. Absolutely no way. It looks terrible. Hello, Santa. My name, Pepper Donaldson. I five year old. <laughs> <laughs> For Christmas, I watch blood. What? I have no blood, no blood in body. I live on machine, machine Mac blood in my body. Mommy, daddy cry a lot. Hospital expensive. I like Paul Patrol. Paul Patrol. <laughs> Doctor said should not be live. For Christmas, I want blood and Paul Patrol toy. And that's from Pepper. And it looks like someone drew a pepper for him. Let me look at Hello, Santa. My name Pepper. Fifteen years old. Fifteen. O D E. <laughs> it looks like fifteen. I think it's I five year old. Well, let's just say it's fifteen. Yeah, it probably seems okay. fifteen. And he wants blood. Blood. Uh, so this guy. He has no blood in his body, and he lives off of a machine. It looks like. And par pop po portal pow partle. Uh, I'm guessing he means. Listen, Pepper. Let me give you some advice, buddy. Uh huh. If you're writing to Santa and you're asking for a present, do not put in your letter that you're going to be dead before Christmas. You just That's fucked up. Yeah, Santa yeah. is not going to be giving you're you anything. Gonna what you should say is, I'm going to be, a, doctor said I'll be alive for 200 more Christmases. Exactly. And actually, I need to get it all in advance. Oh, yeah. Wait. Doctor actually said that for me, I have a <clears throat> medical condition or Christmas is every day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have, hello, I have a mental, I should have I should have gotten that letter. <laughs> I have a, I have a, I have a mental disorder where I think every day is <laughs> so I need toys every I day or I'll get really upset. Toys yeah. every single day or I think you abandoned me, Santa. Yeah. Well, that's 
or I guess my brain will break. Can we mm. talk some real shit? Have y'all ever gotten coal for real? No. Yeah. My parents used to give potatoes because it was cheaper. Cheaper than coal? And then we could just use the potatoes to make mashed potatoes for dinner after. Wait, your parents gave you a potato for <coughs> Christmas? They if if it was like you were bad this year. If they wanted to make the joke like, oh, you were bad, you get, instead of coal, Santa gives out potatoes because coal is expensive. Your parents convince you that you were bad? They would tell years? me that they, I was bad sometimes, yes. Sometimes, only on some years? <laughs> some years. They would tell me I was bad sometimes, yes. Mm, yes. They would tell me I was bad some years on Christmas, yes. It feels abusive, man. I don't know. I feel like it's it's supposed to teach you, I mean, maybe it's just an Irish Catholic That you thing. get potatoes if you're bad? Potatoes aren't so bad. Yeah. I but mean, it's I not ended like, up liking but it's not potatoes. like they give you potatoes and they in place of another gift. I think that's what it was. I think that's what they probably wanted you to think it was. But well, they, they never wrapped got any of my presents though, right? either way. Well, you that's know, a, Santa doesn't wrap presents. Yeah. He just yeah. puts them in the living room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How's he going to wrap? That's normal. You can't wrap yeah. a treadmill. Well, yeah, they're and not going to wrap a flex, a, unless they and wrap and the potato. dumbbells. He's not going to wrap all that shit. I think they they continued doing that. I think they gave my my niece and my nephews potatoes this year. It's and I think they cried. I would that's fucking That's fine. Cry. It's a yeah. funny joke. It's good. I don't think that's funny. You can't I, do that shit to a kid. You, you can't give him a yeah, potato. You no, you, you fucking can't. give them can. a potato. That's fucked up. No, I draw a hard one. line. No, fuck that. You're getting toys and only things that will make you smile. Kid doesn't no, need a no potato. No, no toys. You're not going to teach what them. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> what are you saying? No toys on Christmas. <laughs> No, you give them all the toys and then you give one potato at the beginning or something mm -hmm. and it's be like... To do what? What? You think pranks are funny? Yes. What the hell it's is a wrong? Christmas, it, I guess it must be a Christmas prank. It's a Christmas prank. That's not funny, man. To tell your kids, this oh, you a, got this, this because you were bad. This is the one reason kids are alive No, well, yeah, 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 you, yeah, you shouldn't say that. You don't say, you say, you say, you tell them it was a prank. You say, oh, I got you. Oh, Christmas I should got be, you yeah. Christmas should yeah, be. Yeah, you don't say you got this because you were bad. A bad that, at that point, that's when it goes that's over wrong. the line. Well, I that's, think. What, say, that's what my parents look, do yeah, that's, yeah. they would say get, you got that suffered. because you were bad i think they were trying to teach me that this is pure abuse that, yeah, uh, yeah you, you were have purely abused I, mu I must have been completely and i bet abused. you didn't even get to make french fries out of the potato no i, I bet didn't you even had get to, to touch eat it baked i think that they were rotten old potato. potatoes yeah well with the black spots all I over i think they it. had Ugh. mold i think they were moldy <laughs> and it's sprouting yeah I just think that Christmas should be a candy, a DVD, and a lottery ticket. That's yeah. every oh, I can't wait Christmas. to get lottery tickets this year. Christmas. I want That's a kid's, I got lottery tickets every, My every year. I never got lottery tickets. Since I was like 10 years old, I got lottery tickets for Christmas. I would just yeah, get I got Star lottery Wars tickets crap. every Christmas. But the rule, did you have a rule that if it was over, if somebody got over $1,000, we had to split it with the whole family? Yes. Uh, I always thought that was you fucking You said you never bullies. got lottery tickets. Why are you saying that? No, that's just lottery lying. tickets in general. general. That's that's lottery. Lottery. I meant lottery tickets in general. When other Wait, times what, are you are getting, getting lottery tickets with July? your entire family? Fourth of July. What? I what could you, see that. I don't I've do never, that. I've never heard of that once. I've never. Well, you're, uh, to be fair, you're the only other person I've ever met who got lottery tickets growing up at Christmas. No, there's, I've met other people who do that, too. I'm sure you have. What I said is you're the only person I've met. But, have, but you've never met anybody who's even mentioned doing it on 4th of July. Never even once. Yeah, it's not right. never even considered that it could be an yeah. option. It's yeah. just the thing that like your dad does because he just bought a bunch of beer. So he's like, all right, fuck it. I'll get lotto tickets too. We'll see what happens. That's what Christmas is. Your dad buys a bunch of beer for Christmas too. No. Your dad I had to hide beer from my uncles. We did we did <laughs> we did mimosas at Christmas. Yeah, so that's what my aunt does. That's fun, man. Mm -hmm. I that usually do coffee cake and coffee. Mm -hmm. So you're more uppers. My family's more <laughs> downers. Yeah. I like that. All right. What's your next letter? Let me see. Let's see. Oh, that was a really short one. Oh, okay. Dear Santa, me and my coworkers, Walter and Ahmed, would really like a girl puppet this year. Love, Peanut. <laughs> I wonder who that's from. <laughs> There's no last name. It sounds name. like it's from Peanut. There's no yeah. last name at all. It just says Love Peanut. Huh. Huh. That's, that's an interesting, interesting one. It is interesting. But I like this guy's got to be an adult because it was straight to the point. No yeah. boo hoo. Yeah, oh, my yeah, blood yeah, doesn't yeah. work. Yeah. Oh. oh, I live on a machine. Yeah, shut yeah. the fuck yeah. up, man. Yeah. All right. Straight to the point. <clears throat> Here's one Dear Santa Claus, here's a list of things I want for Christmas. Straight to the point again. Uh, <clears throat> One, a Santa hat and outfit. That's cute. Oh. Yeah. Oh. He wants to be like his hero. Yeah. yeah. Two, some strands of your hair, both head and beard. What? Well, to make more. To Three, a cloning machine. 
Four, a house key to your palace in North Pole City. Five, your federal ID. Six, one minute audio sample of your voice with minimal background noise. Seven, itemized list of your daily diet. And eight, tooth tunes style fleshlight that plays music when you fuck it. <laughs> Well, well, that, is, that doesn't seem like it has anything to do with it. Yeah, it seems like it was kind of all had a through line. It's like a Mrs. Right. Claus flashlight. Oh, that's nasty, bro. Why would you even say that? Did you say what? flashlight? I said flashlight. I think you said flashlight. I said Mrs. Claus Some kind of toilet flashlight. I don't know that it, that even exists, though, does it? Do they have I've, a Mrs. Claus flashlight? Oh, I was talking about a musical Tooth flashlight. I mean, I guess there's songs that I would like to fuck. <laughs> If it's the same as the Tooth Tunes songs. S&M like by Rihanna. I would fuck that song. It's I the same as the Tooth Tunes songs. It's It's got to be like I mean, rock wait, and roll. Ah. Like, yeah. <laughs> you, hear, you hear from your son's room. There's like a faint, like really low quality speaker. Ah. And it, you, you hear the song. Ah. and it just, rock and roll. Yeah, but you hear it going like. Uh, boop, wanna, <laughs> rock and <laughs> like when you, The subwoofer. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then you walk in and he's fucking. Well, like when you hold your your phone up with the speakers and you go like, wow, oh yeah, wow, and wow. he's fucking the back of the. You do t- around the world. It could be like, like a pump. giant. Yeah. It could be like it could look like a giant cow's tongue if yeah. it was a kiss one and yeah. you fuck the back. Of it, you know, <laughs> I've always thought those things could probably be fleshlights. Yeah, cow's tongues are huge, man. That's true. Not that that's <laughs> requisite for. You me said to that's fuck true. It. That's true. A cow tongue is huge. They are huge. <laughs> that's true. All right, I'm going to read this next letter. Oh, this the next letter has a picture on it. Why do you seem so scared of showing it to me? Hello, my name is Rex, oh, and I host it. the popular podcast Beers We Drank. Here is a picture of me for Christmas. I want a beer. <laughs> wow. You know what, Rex? You really look you, like... Rex, you look amazing. You look like a famous comedian and... I hold it from the top. ...political activist uh, Brett Gelman. I'm going to be honest with you, Rex. You look yeah. pretty <laughs> similar. <laughs> Jesus Christ, is this what he looks like? <laughs> you know what the title of that article was? Let me let me pull it up real quick. Can I see the picture? The title of Sorry, that I'm article. Wow. The title of the article where I found that photo was Oh shit, I screenshotted it for sure. Ice cream shotted it? I screenshotted it. I screenshotted it. This is a People magazine headline where that photo is from. Stranger Things Brett Gelman praises his really impressive young co star. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Oh, what man. an amazing dude! Imagine how amazing it would be for him to be your mentor. Oh my god! Imagine, oh my god. Th- imagine Jaddy coming up to you. Yes, dude. Oh imagine. my god! He says, "You want to go? You want to go break into the nerd melt, and we can smell the stage." Yeah. Yes, wow. that would be awesome. Oh my god! Jonah Ray once performed here, man. Oh. <sighs> Oh my God, Kumail and Jonah Ray performed here. Oh. I mean, you guys are are talking about this and all, you know, but you guys do realize that we lost him. Who? He supports Israel. Brett Gelman. Su- Brett Gelman supports Israel. Why we would lost- he support Israel? He does no dog in that <laughs> fight. We lost him to the right, to the to the right. The, f- the fascistic right? The fascistic right. We lost him. A bloody Gelman and is sitting, not, is he, Brett Gelman's and I'm sitting, not Jewish? And I'm sitting here like, what I'm sitting, I'm over here like, how am I ever going to enjoy a piece of media with Brett Gelman in it ever again? <laughs> so how am I going to watch Stranger Things with no I'm going to get no joy out of seeing Brett Gelman on TV <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to smile and laugh and, <laughs> dude, how am I going to get through that one part and the other guys now? <sighs> oh. That's going to be hard as fuck, man. How Bro, I get through his Mickey Mouse blackface performance? This is going to be really tough for me. I, I just think. really hope that he, at this point in his career, he stays the fuck away from Tim Heidecker. Please don't do it to Tim, man. Get away. Get away from him. <laughs> Brett Gelman, if you were thinking Brett, of politically corrupting get Tim Heidecker. Get the fuck away from office hours right now. Brett Gelman, mm-hmm. if, you, if I ever see you on office hours, I will not fucking hesitate. Uh-uh. I swear to God, I will not fucking hesitate. I'm going to do a flip at you. Straight up, I'm Jackie spin. Chan style. I'm a spin on you. I'll spin on you, man. Spin on you literally. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's what, see. Wait. What's, what are you guys this? asking Santa for Christmas this year? Um, we should wait on that. Yeah. That's a di- that's all. That's a whole new episode. That's a whole new. Well, or at least to, I don't know. Well, I guess I'm asking him for nothing because I don't yeah. need anything because I'm so blessed. Yeah, me too. That's I actually, think I'm completely blessed. Both of you. You don't want like money? Or, like I'm asking for I money. Guess, okay, money. Yeah, I'll do money. You can't. Okay, so you can't copy. First of all, that's one of the rules. Say, of Santa. I want the money that Caleb. Was I want going whatever to get. Caleb's gonna get. 
Should I just read this next letter? Yeah. It looks pretty quick. It looks pretty short. Dear Santa, for Christmas, I want gold. Gold member. <laughs> okay. That's all it says. Uh, and it's interesting. It kind of went... Oh, it's written in gold it font. It really looks like silver, more silver to me. Huh. But, uh... No, if you look in the yeah, light... you want to call that yeah, gold. Yeah, if you look in the light, that's well, that's what the colored pencil says. <laughs> <laughs> you went and got colored pencils. <laughs> Gina that's had them. cute. That's cute. Let's see. Oh, go ahead. Me? Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, th there's three letters in there. Well, that's really just two. Oh. Well, this is... Seem wow, this one's all typed up, looking crazy. Dear Mr. Claus, re, notice of IRS audit. We hope this letter finds you well. The Internal Revenue Service has identified your unique TIN, commonly known as your SSN, in connection with the annual tax return filing. The letter serves as an official notice of our intent to conduct an audit of your tax return for the tax year 2023 under the provisions of the Internal Revenue Code. The IRS has noted certain discrepancies in the reported income and deductions on your tax return, and we believe the thorough examination is necessary to ensure compliance with the tax laws of the United States. Specific areas of concern include classification of gifts. I could see that happening. Oh, uh, yeah. Please provide detailed documentation supporting the classification of gifts as non-taxable, including a list of recipients, the nature of the gifts, and their fair market value, eligibility for charitable deductions, and business expenses. Please what submit uh, requested documentation within 30 days of receiving this notice. To uh, probably need to forward this one. Sincerely, Barish Gretzky, IRS <laughs> auditor. That's a crazy name. Barish Gretzky, IRS Auditor, Internal Revenue Service. We appreciate your prompt. Barish Gretzky? Barish Gretzky. It's an odd name. It is an odd name. I wouldn't think that... Um, I mean, I guess Santa's in some kind of trouble with the IRS, but he's not a citizen of the U.S. No, but maybe it's because maybe he has a home here in Boca Raton. Is Boca Raton in the U.S.? Yes. Where is that? Florida. Really? Where do you think he vacations? But it's named Boca. Well, What's well, Boca... Boca D's nuts. Oh, yeah. shit. Oh, oh snap. It's no, a Christmas miracle, y'all. We no, destroyed no, Cameron no, on his no, own track. No, no, no. This isn't my track. You have the tracks in front of you, you bro. Do. And barely in front of me. They're right in front of you right it's now. Not, this is our track, man. No. This no. is Santa's track. This All week. right. Read your damn letter, bro. Yeah, shut the fuck up and read Shut your up and page. read that letter. Wait, guys, should I read my letter? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're telling that's you. That's Patrick. My impression of Patrick. Oh, damn. Oh, wait. shit. That was fire. All right. I might have been destroyed. <coughs> Here's my impression of Patrick. Look at my. I have the, the stupidest Santa hat of anybody. And <laughs> you I bought it, it for I me. I picked it myself and bought it for myself. You threw it at you me. You bought and it said, for me. Here it goes. That's you. Dear Santa Claus, I want a puppy for Christmas. Oh. But not just any puppy. I want a puppy that is the size of a quarter. It's so small that it just floats around the room and I have to catch it in a cup if I want to pet it. I have to feed it tiny amounts of food. I assumed when I asked for a puppy last year, you would know, have known I wanted a small coin-sized one, but you brought me a normal-sized one. This time, bring me a tiny puppy. Make sure the puppy is really, really small. It's better for it to be small. That's from Micro. <laughs> <laughs> well, seems like he was a little upset about it last year. He was a little upset. <laughs> I forgot about Micro. <laughs> I hope he's doing okay. I hope Micro's okay. I hope Micro I didn't him. get stuck in the vacuum or something. Oh, God, Micro. Oh, no. Uh, can you imagine how what a, what a nightmare that must be for him to have a normal-sized yeah. dog? I mean, not a puppy is one thing because it gets yeah. there and it's, it's still probably, too big for him. Yeah. But then it gets even bigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah probably yeah. when you get a bull mastiff or something. Imagine you know? how long yeah. it takes him to feed the dog. Imagine a yeah. dog. He's take, it's like mining one piece of kibble at a time out of the yeah, bag. That dog is going to just think he's his, he's a flea. Exactly, he's probably gonna he kick him off. He could literally drown in the dog's poop. Not oh that my, I would that'd want be disgusting. To, not that I like that or want to see a picture. No, I would not want to see micro covered in poop. <laughs> no, I had to dude. take a turd out of Phil's asshole last night. I had oh. to do that to myself before. Yeah. Did you eat a tennis ball? <laughs> 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 and it got stuck <laughs> halfway in. <laughs> and that's what happened to Phil. <laughs> he had yeah. a tennis ball, and I and dude, it sucks whenever he eats a toy like that. You, I just know I'm going to have to finger my dog in like, <laughs> one, like 24 hours. I'm going to be on the street. 
and I'm going to have my finger it, with, with a bag, obviously, yeah, in right. my dog's asshole, pulling this out of his ass because oh, he can't digest yeah. tennis yeah. stuff. Yeah. I don't That's think most gay. people can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a red blooded American yeah. dog. So he's he's not not he can be playing football. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That might work. Uh-huh. He might be able to eat a football, but a tennis ball? Come no on, way. Man. He's it's not a so poodle. <laughs> no way, no how. Uh uh-uh. uh. No. This uh, next letter here, this one is actually this is a typed out one. So type shit. Typed out type shit. Santa. I don't know what to do, and I am hoping for a miracle. I'm 32 years old, and I lost everything. In 2020, I put $43,000 into the GameStop short squeeze, plus the rest of my savings into Dogecoin due to some bad advice from a subreddit, my only friend who I no longer associated with. My stupidity cost me everything. I lost it all, and I haven't been able to bounce back since. I lost my boyfriend, my apartment, everything. I had to move back in with my parents. They hate my guts. Every day, I feel them glaring at me looking at the failure of a son they have created. A waste of precious life. I started working at, ironically, a GameStop two towns over. I hate it. I hate driving there. Every single day, I think about how stupid I am. Some days when I'm driving to work, I imagine veering into the oncoming lane, hoping a semi hits me. I hope the windshield shatters and the glass explodes into my face. I hope that the impact does not kill me. I hope that I have to endure the pain until I eventually succumb to my injuries. I know that I will never do it as I am a coward. Ooh. That's it? For Christmas this year, I want a realistic action figure of Cameron Fetter with realistic hair that I can brush and I can undress him and play with him and have him go on adventures with my Spider-Man. From <laughs> William Huxtable. <laughs> wow. Wait. That's well, actually kind of flattering that he wants yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. And the, I mean, to put me in the same league as Spider Man. <laughs> to brush your hair and then. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, and I got to hang out with Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. He thinks I'm Spider Man's friend. <laughs> you would. If I'll you, that up as a W. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would have a. Uh, uh, a brush included with your action yeah. figure. Yo, you definitely nah, dude, would. I'd have two AK-47s. Ooh. Mm, and a brush. That'd be dope. <laughs> yeah, maybe to two brush a- the ak 47 <laughs> A toy that comes with a two AK-47s and a bazooka and a <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool as fuck, dude. What kind of toy would you be, Pat? Um, I would probably... I feel like you'd be one of the stretchy ones. No, 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 <laughs> yeah. no. You'd I'd be one of the ones be... that you could throw on the ceiling of the yeah, classroom. I'd be like a rescue hero semester. that's on just sale. Like, yeah. One no, of those. You wouldn't be a rescue hero. I think I would be a rescue hero. You, you have no, you're type. the least brave person I've ever met. You're what a complete you coward. About? There is... Ah! See, he flinched. No, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't I, flinch at all. Yeah, he went. Are you are, are you really trying to say ah! that you're the I'm the one that gets scared of noises? <laughs> Please don't scare me. <laughs> you just opened up a can of worms Please you did not want me. to open. Open up a can of fucking ah! you're both are, you're, you guys are just both scaring me. Stop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I got. Kevin. I just got scared. It's <laughs> not fair because I'm getting scared every time by each of you guys. I'm getting double the scares. That's mm-hmm. true. That's not fair. And yeah. it's not All fair because right. I'm what? not even part of this. Let's remedy. Let's hear another. You wouldn't be a rescue hero, though. You would be a bouncy ball. <laughs> <laughs> I would not be a bouncy ball. You would. You'd be a bouncy ball with no, a star No, I would not be a bouncy it. ball with a star on it. You I would not be, be the a Pixar bouncy ball. Story. You, I would not be the Pixar bouncy you ball. Be, you would be a dog toy with a star on your belly. Uh-uh. I would you maybe be a dog toy. I could see that. <laughs> People would complain. They would buy your toy. And they'd be like, I thought it was fully articulated, but the hands are stuck the to the <laughs> belly. <laughs> My kid hates this toy yeah. because he can't move the arms. My kid hates this toy. <laughs> Why are the arms stuck on the hairy every belly? Time <laughs> every time, man, yeah. I hate this toy. <laughs> every time my kid sees this toy on the shelf, he starts crying and screaming. I had a toy like, like that. A, and then I you, did and have you a toy like and you that. My aunt, my aunt got me this toy. I forget what it was called. I, I I know what it looks like. It's like a little boy that has like a big booger coming out of it. <laughs> and you like squeeze down on its head and it just says like annoying shit. And one time it, it like was like the most annoying toy. And it just like had like a big like droopy booger. And I remember waking up in the middle of the night and seeing it's just silhouette. And I was like six or seven. But seeing it silhouette scared the shit out of me. And I made my mom throw. I like cried, and then made my mom take it out of the bedroom and throw it away because it was so scary. Reminds me of garbage pail kids. I hated those things. I, I was those. never scared of a toy. That's I, and I'm sorry to say this. That's a younger sibling thing. Yeah. Well, I'm a middle 
child. I'm a middle boy. I, I, I was not scared of any toy either. I'm not I, the youngest I, though. Be younger, I said. What yeah. kind of toy do you have that sca- like scares you? How can you be scared of a toy? How can you be scared of a booger? You were scared of a booger? You, no, were, I was you afraid, were a booger, motherfucker. I was afraid of the silhouette of it. It looked like a little guy staring at me. It is a little guy. It and he was, was probably pointed in your was. direction. Yeah. What do you mean the silhouette? You had him backlit all the time <laughs> against a wall? Well, it was like a window. No, and see, I know what he's talking about because I saw the silhouette of my toys when I was going to sleep, but they would just excite me. Yeah. I just talked to you them. You would think that they were moving at night, right? Yeah, I would yeah. want to I would think they were moving around. Well, like okay, story. all the all the cool ones I that I like, all the ones the that I like you would want them to move around. Yeah. But the scary ones, like a little boy with a booger. I think in my head, <laughs> I think in my head I hated that toy so much that I looked for a reason to get rid of it. Yeah. But so that you said, thing, I'm scared. Yeah, I just told my mom that it scares me and I don't want it anymore, even though it was just like, oh, I don't want to play with the boy. I was scared of the egg boy. stealer from Dragon Tales. I had to hide the egg from dealer? Mm. Egg stealer. Oh, stealer. Egg stealer. Because imagine how and hard I was those scared dragons of my nebulizer. work on those eggs, man. You were scared of the nebulizer? I mean, that oh is a scare. God. It sounds like an alien <laughs> yeah. uh, lord. Because I was scared of my nebulizer. The nebulizer. Damn. It's a scary name. Yeah. Um, I only have one more letter, but I'm going to oh, read okay. mine. I can give you one of mine. Okay, I'll take one. Yeah. Fuck it, man. I have tween <clears throat> Uh, Fucking great. What? Little Ben again, man. Oh, he God. double texted Santa Claus. Oh, I don't want to hear from this guy. I forgot to... F- this guy, I forgot to wish for this in the last letter, but for Christmas, I want every single homo to go to jail. <laughs> First, they ruined my favorite movie, Rocky Horror Picture Show. <laughs> then they ruined my favorite singer, Janelle Monet. Now they're trying to ruin my favorite game series, Grand Theft Auto, by making it take place in Florida, which to me <laughs> seems gay. <laughs> Why can't these fruity gay guys just have their own gay-ass country where everyone there is gay? Oh, wait, they do. It's called Mexico. Little Ben, candidate for president of the United States 2028 Constitution Party. Ben, stop emailing. Yeah. Stop hey, mailing Santa, ben, man. There's that. Ben, yeah. this, there's no take place a look at for that because that's man. all you're going to get. This is, take a look this at is that, what you get for Christmas. And, also, and take a lap, well, okay, man. Wait, show, show him that again. Show him that show again. Show him the middle Pat. finger again. So not only is this a gesture of rudeness, yeah. this is also the a number th- of votes you're going to get yep. in the election. And it's because a Because I'm voting <laughs> for you, buddy. <laughs> 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 it's funny that the, the president uh, always does the thing where they go and vote for themselves. They, I was about mm. to ask, do they do that? Yeah, it makes always, sense. It's always there's always every election year there's uh, some news coverage of like, oh, there goes Biden. He's voting for himself. Wow, he yeah. put in the wrong guy though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. can read that one too. Okay. Well, I get to double read. I'm such a reader today. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You are this such a reader, one. man. That's the wrong one, dude. I'm Here such a Here fucking reader, man. You're so readered. <laughs> So readerly and writerly. Can you just read it? What? what you're holding us up. You're double, you get the chance to double read. You're holding us up? Yeah. Dear Sanda, me, Caleb Pitts, me want corn. <laughs> me want to be new corn kid. <laughs> Dear Sanda, I didn't write this, man. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you did. Dear what? Sanda, me, Caleb Pitts, me want a picture of corn. It is. It's not, it doesn't say corn. Me want to be new corn kid. And it looks like for some reason it was it was written and then written over with another color of colored pencil. For it might have been too. It might have been too light of a color. Or maybe it was two kids. Yeah, maybe it was two kids. Who the fuck is Sanda? The same letter on the same piece of paper. I don't know. Maybe that's just a spelling mistake. I mean, it says it's from Caleb Pitts. <laughs> me want I didn't write this. It's <laughs> want to be the new corn me kid. want to be new corn kid. I don't want to be the new corn kid, man. That kid's life is ruined. He's not going to get into college. You went viral, man. <laughs> this is the letter yeah. you gave me to read, man. Would you have preferred I, I give you this one? I would have preferred anything but that, dude. I'll read it. Me I'll read this one. Dear Santa. I know how to spell Santa. That's the would first you re- clue Would I you did. rather I give you this one? Yeah, man. Dear Santa, I'm called Jack, and I've been very naughty. Very, very naughty. I curse, I fight, and I drink. Oh, no. Earlier this week, I was in jail. God, Jack. But using my rapier wit and help from my cellmate, I managed to escape. I've been on the run, sailing the seven seas for days in search of the Black Pearl. For Christmas, I want treasure. (laughs) (laughs) 
Savvy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would have liked that one more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <you> see that? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's from Captain Jack Sparrow. I think you might be right. Oh my God! Search of the Black Pro. I didn't know he was still around. Yeah, I guess he is. I, I don't know. <coughs> okay. Mm. Dear Santa Claus, my parents said I can't have a little brother for Christmas. Aw, that's sad. No, don't read this one. It's sad. So. I want one of your elves. Oh. I could roughhouse with him and force him to lick my armpits. Oh. I promise I would love him like a brother, and I would not sexually molest him as I'm old enough now to know better. You Ow. must be able to spare just one elf for a kid like me. I could tell him my secrets, and he wouldn't tell anybody because he only speaks elfish. Me and him would go apple picking. And it wouldn't be as much of a commitment for my parents as a younger brother would be because elves only live to 15 years old. Love you, Santa, from Timmy. Oh, that's okay. Uh, no, you don't want to live with an elf, yeah. first of all. No. He wants an elf. I mean, if you say, see what a kid <clears throat> wishes for something. Also, did he say he's he's old enough now to know that he shouldn't sexually molest? How old is he? Does it say? Doesn't no. say. Doesn't, doesn't say. say at all. What old is what age is too young then to know? Well, that I mean, he he can write, so you know he's probably at least so he's at least fifteen, yeah, at least thirteen. Got to be 14. something like yeah. that, yeah, yeah. That's around that age where you start writing this. I wouldn't want to live with an elf, though. No. I think I feel like they might eat a lot of food, like a surprising amount of food. Yeah, well, well that's, there's that a was, whole fucking movie yeah, about this shit. They eat a lot of candy. <laughs> I just fucking realized there's a movie about an elf being your brother. Uh -huh. Well, that's about yeah. Well, that's about the being an older brother that acts like a younger brother. Mm -hmm. No, it's so about maybe the whole the whole the whole reason that the family's out of whack in that movie Elf uh -huh. is because Divorce. the brother is younger, uh -huh. the human brother is younger than the elf brother, but the elf brother acts like he's younger than the human brother. So the younger so it's brother, all, it's all it's a dissonance that's throwing everything mm -hmm. out of whack in the universe in this movie. If they just switched it, if the elf was actually younger than the brother and he acted like it, then it would be a normal family, yeah. and they would be able to say, "You can't eat candy like that." And I go, thought, "Okay, I'm younger." Mm -hmm. I thought the whole movie was about an elf that comes from the North Pole to New York City. No, no it's, it's about, about family, family dynamics. Mm -hmm. It's about it's about That's leaving your kid at the it. orphanage. It's elevated. I thought it was about spying on women in the shower. That's a good chunk of it. That's a good scene. That yeah. is a good scene of it. I like that scene. <laughs> I really can't stay. All right, so I got this. This is my final letter, it looks like. And it looks like this is dated 2017. It's old? Yeah, there's an old. This one just didn't make it to Santa back in the day. That's kind of sad. That is sad. Dear Santa, for Christmas, I would like sanity restored in America and Mango Mussolini impeached from Stephen Colbert. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he got what he wanted. Yeah, I guess he did. I guess you got everything you wanted Sanity for Christmas. Was restored. And Santa didn't even read your letter. And it are, we'll it's get it happened. to Santa. We're gonna get it. We'll to get. Santa. We'll still get it to him. We'll have him sign and send you sign and send you a headshot. I mean, honestly, though, knowing Stephen Colbert, he probably sent this letter and then also like texted him, called him, yeah. had his people call him. He probably like really True, ensured that, this that, was I gonna make it, it through. Why has he never celebrity? been a guest on the Late Show? I think yeah. he has. Santa? Santa? <laughs> yeah, I think he has been on there. A couple Can times. you pull up a clip? Does do celebrities have to even write the letters? Why can't they just go through their agents and managers hmm. to get to Santa Claus? Yeah, that I guess that's how they do it. That's maybe how they get G wagons. Maybe Santa doesn't have representation, so he's just like, I'm not going to uh, talk to an agent on uh, the phone or like a manager. Kind of like Bill whatever. Murray, where he's just got a phone in his house. Yeah, I and that's guess. how he gets movies. Are you thinking of Ghostbusters? That's what I. That's what <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he lives in a fire. Yeah. Um, yeah. And he's got a lady that screams, we've got one, and that means he's got a new role. Yeah. 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 That would be kind of cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the All fire right. pole. Cameron handed me one to read. Oh, um, that's nice of him. It was nice. That's a little gift. Yeah, because you're kind of, you ran out. I'm sorry for the handwriting of whoever wrote this. <laughs> I immediately thought it said roll <laughs> instead of coal. What? I said what? Well, it just says, read it and then we'll know. Dear Spoiler. S dear Santa Claus, I want coal. I've been a bad, bad laid <laughs> kid. <laughs> this kid really has the worst handwriting ever. I slapped my mom. Oh. <laughs> 
I held down my dad and touched his butt. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with this I kid? I painted my brother's toothbrush brown. Doesn't sound as bad as the other two. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that'd be the third one. I married my teacher. That's bad. I conducted my whole class to not... I Sorry. I converted my whole class to non-binary Santa, and I'm only in f- fourth grade. What? What? I'm like one of those kids that go that boo boo goey everywhere. <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. I'm like one of those kids who oh who goes everywhere in a Spider Man costume, but I dress like Hitler. <laughs> I didn't set a birthday present. I didn't get a birthday present for my neighbor. So give me coal. I genuinely want coal. <laughs> Signed, Chip Chocolate. <laughs> Sounds like the craziest kid of all time. This kid's yeah. insane. This kid What's sucks. His deal? Uh, and on top of that, he can't write a fucking word to <laughs> no. save his life. No, I his thought name he is said, Chip Chocolate. The part where he, says he dresses like Hitler took me a minute because it's it really it says uh, Spider Man costume, but I dress like Mittler. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. handwriting's normal. It's not that bad. It's really bad, man. It's readable. I serially vat Cole. I seriously want coal. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that crazy. That? I thought my handwriting was bad. I made a very... Yeah, you can um, show it to the camera so the, everyone, let everyone the, else decide. Where's decide. the second S in that, man? Sometimes I don't write letters, but that's not a big deal. I made a very conscious effort to... I, I painstakingly... I think it took me an hour to write everything because I wanted to make sure that everything was legible in case we were passing the letters around. That's common courtesy, yeah. man. Well, I figured that we I, I figured we were just going to read our own. Oh, okay. Um, and well, I also... You I read our own that we picked from the pile. Yeah, what else would I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, you just said yours took an hour to write, to be fair. Mm, no, I didn't. <laughs> Oh, wait, what was that voice? No, he didn't. All right, I have one last one to read. That must okay. have been Santa's elf. Santa's elf is around? Yeah, it must be. Okay, I'm going to read this one now. <coughs> Dear Santa Claus, my heart aches for you. Mm. The night we shared together sticks in my memory still. A night of tangled hotel sheets, breathless gasps, frantic rubbing, and wet wallpaper. <laughs> Ew. What? <laughs> like it gets what? bubbles behind it? I guess. Ew. When I woke up next to you, I felt my heart might burst from the love pulsing through it. I need to see you again. I can't function without you. At my job, I drift off to sleep and dream of you and your body. You're all that I want, all that I need. I can't live another day without you. Your faithful companion, Julio. Oh, my God. P.S. On the back of this letter, I've drawn you something to remember me by. (laughs) (laughs) Looks to be a hairy middle finger. Yeah. Something. I don't know what it is, but I guess Julio drew it. (laughs) Is that true? Did this happen? You you had a steamy night with Santa Claus last year? Julius Angels. (laughs) (laughs) That's what, Santa Claus is one of your angels. <laughs> Did you meet him over Discord? I could see. Um, I mean, this is. Uh, how is this any different from I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus? Yeah, that's pretty yeah. much the same exact ball game, ballpark. Yeah, which is that? Is, have we ever gotten clarification on that song? Whether or not this was about dad dressed up as Santa, or she's I saw, actually well, it just would cheating. be a much more boring song if it was called "I Saw Mommy Kissing Daddy." That wouldn't be as interesting. I, I wouldn't yeah. hear that. That song. would be a song you could play any day of the year. They That's should make true. a version. Of, I saw they my make versions I of saw Christmas every songs mommy. that you can they just change the words and not be about Christmas, or so that you can, can do on every single so you, holiday. Yeah. So you can do, yeah. Well, you can I do saw any mommy day. kissing the Easter Bunny. Mm-hmm. But if you change it to like I saw mommy kissing daddy, I or saw you mommy say, kissing like, Martin Luther King. <laughs> 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 I saw mommy kissing Martin Luther King Jr. That'd be a great. That could be a full album of remixes. Yeah. Exactly. I saw mommy kissing. I mean, what other people do we have holidays Abe for? Abe Lincoln, Christopher Columbus, on his a, a birthday tree. in. February. I saw mommy kissing an arbor. Yeah. I saw mommy kissing. I saw mommy kissing Bastille Day. I saw mommy kissing, I saw mommy Mr. kissing a ghost or a goblin or a skeleton or any number of things. Yeah, that would work for everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now that we finished the letters, I do want to talk about our Christmas lists. Okay. Let's talk I about do, it. I do. Um, <clears throat> because the fact that there's this many letters already headed to the North Pole kind of has me a little scared. Yeah. 
because I haven't written mine yet. Well, no, me neither. Yeah, I mean, this many letters that are definitely heading to the North Pole and are not going to mm, get thrown know, away. Thrown away. To okay, who are we throwing away? Help We're, opposition. I'm, I'm definitely going to throw away Little Ben stuff. Yeah, I'm throwing away all everything. Yeah, me too. I didn't, really? Yeah. Even the blood. I kit? need a chance, bro. Can I tell you guys what I want for Christmas? I thought about it a little more. Mm-hmm. What? And I, I can tell you if I if I'm I'm going to go home and I'm going to write a letter to Santa Claus and I can I can tell you exactly mm-hmm. what I'm going to write in it. Okay. I'm going to say I'm going to start with. Well, first of all, my address on. Yes. Right, but then I'll say, dear Santa Claus, this year for Christmas, I need a W. Wow. wow. From Cameron. It's been L's all year. It's Santa. been L's for me. Mm-hmm. I need a W. It's been L after L, and I need a W I for need Christmas. I need a W this year, Santa. I need a W fucking I, badly. I front. really badly so, need a so, W so this so Christmas. Bad, so bad. So bad. So bad. I would probably, I, I'm Not probably right going to ask for a Draco. Yeah. 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 Dear Santa Claus, send it. I'd like a Draco, but don't send it to New York because I'll get in trouble. Send it to Tennessee and I'll go pick it up. Mm -hmm. Or Philly. You could send it to Philly. Can you get a Draco in Philly? Probably. That place crazy as fuck. Mm -hmm. It was slut week there last week. Whoa. It was slut week in Philly? We missed it again, yeah. We missed (laughs) slut week in Philly again. Wait, how did that happen? I thought we all marked it on our calendars. So we wouldn't. I had it written. Did the notification not go off? No. Oh, my God. The calendar's gone. That's why. It's the third week of, or it's the fourth week of November. It's not like, it's not the same time every year. Yeah. Well, I thought, (laughs) oh, yeah. So I guess our calendar. Because sometimes November has five or six weeks in it. Sometimes I remember six weeks in it. Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Yeah, really? depending on the year, leap yeah. year. So leap we year. we missed it. Yeah, because last year, year it started on the 29th. Mm-hmm. November started on the 29th. No, the the <laughs> slot week, week started on the 29th because that's technically it was the fourth w- or the fifth week of November. What if you? What if sometimes months only had two days? Wow. I get confused on which months have how many days. I thought November lasted <laughs> two more days than it did. That's an amazing idea. Isn't that a great idea? Yeah. And then and then it would be an opportunity to have more joint birthday parties because it'll be like, okay, if there's only two days in November yeah. this year, you either everyone who has their birthday in the first half of November, you get your birthdays on November first this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. From the second half, you're November second. You can have a bunch more joint birthday parties. Because oh, sometimes yeah. you want to have a joint birthday party with your friend, but their birthday's just a little a little, a little far away. Because uh-huh. our birthdays are are the same month. Mm-hmm. But they're just a little too far, a, just a little too far away. Tummy and Joe are too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if it was just two days one year, that'd be great. Right. Yeah. You know what I want for Christmas, you guys? What? I'm just gonna come right out and say it. I want the fans to subscribe to us on Patreon, and I want people to subscribe to us on YouTube, guys. We're almost at 10k subscribers. We're almost at 100,000 subscribers, guys. Uh huh. That's kind of a 10k s- times a hundo. Yeah. It's kind of uh, you don't want like a TV. Well, oh, basically my TV. real oh, me. I, oh yeah, OLED he wants that, and inch. I would like a TV, Santa. My uh, <laughs> my letter to Santa looks almost identical to the Taylor Swift one. Oh, you want to be? I want to get. A get butt. I want to look like a bubble. Okay, we can bubble you up. Mm-hmm. But I want to look like a bubble. You're but gonna, but you're, you're gonna have to. It's gonna be indirect, you know, because Santa's not gonna give you a bubble. Let's be real. Yeah. So you need to get more money on Patreon to yeah, then be. A that's bubble. true. Yeah. And guys, if we hit 20k on Patreon, we are making a movie about Christmas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are making a Christmas movie. <laughs> we'll make even if it happens in July, uh-huh. we will be making a Christmas movie. Should I wow. plug, plug my thing that I'm doing on the day that this? Yes, comes out? dude. Yeah. Nine point ninety three. Wait a minute. Are we gonna hit 10k while this episode is out? Could be. Uh, so everybody, if you're listening to this on the day that it comes out. And uh, you better rush over uh, because I will be appearing on <laughs> on social media shows, TV networks, classic interview show in the office with Joseph Skoda. Oh, oh my God. God. 3 p.m. Eastern today. <laughs> and this and it will be airing live on. I don't know where they aired. I think it will be on social media shows <laughs> dot com. <laughs> That's it. I, I would miss that also, interview for the world. Maybe also on Twitter Live or something. Our I don't first really media know appearance, man. Is. That's huge. I'm yeah. going to be well, doing an interview about the first, podcast. First. Yeah, well, uh, first of our, you know. He went on TV at the beginning of the year. Yeah. And now you're doing this. Well, his and but here's the thing. His TV appearance was not about the podcast. No, That's no, true. This, no. I'm keeping no. it I was strictly. Just there. This is for the podcast fans. I'm going to be answering a lot of questions that this guy must will probably dig really in depth. Into, oh, here's their of, website. Here's so their can, website. So you can. And be sponsorships brief. are welcome, it says. Social media um, shows. Go ahead and com, click guys. TV programs and we can see uh, in the office with Joseph Skoda. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you. This is the show that I'm Yeah, in the <laughs> office here. Uh, 
So this is the show I'll be appearing on today. Wait, he made and himself I, the eye in, in the it's office. It's an educational and inspirational show on social media platforms and stream live in real time on social media shows network with Joseph Skoda. Joseph Skoda is an experienced marketer and coach. I can't wait to hear this show. I really can't wait to see this. Oh, my goodness. Uh, don't allow loneliness gets the best of you. Wow. Only you know if you got wealth. Make memories worth remembering, et cetera, et cetera. So anyway, I'll be on that. On uh, Tune in live because I, I will see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Thank you guys so much for listening and Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Should I press the button that demonetizes us? Yes. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it today. Bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye. I want to have a tunnel in my house to go somewhere. I wish. I want a tunnel from my room to the bathroom so that I don't have to walk through the living room. And That's uh, called the hallway. No, yeah. but I want it to lead directly there. I want to have a house where I can press button at the door and it switches to whatever room. Like, you know what I mean? You you can, it, oh. goes like, it goes like, yeah. and it sw- like switches in, the order of the rooms. Like in like uh, Monsters Dishonored Inc. 2. I never it played builds, that. It builds a new room. I think that's the game. I haven't played it either, but I saw it. I wish that I had a big hamster water bottle next to my bed. I wish I had a catheter. big hamster. <laughs> Big hamster and a children. catheter a connected really, to my penis. I always had a hamster that was the size of a German Shepherd. <laughs> yeah. I saw, did you and see? And I kept in a cage in my room. I never let Imagine it Imagine it stiffly and it just died. Like, <laughs> just shaking the bars. I throw a blanket <laughs> over it whenever I'm home. Because it hears me walking around. It's trying to kill me. <laughs> it hates me so much. I just drop, I drop mealworms <laughs> through the bars. <laughs> That's what you're feeding? And I'm like, yeah, I can't get rid of it. Like, it was my uncle's pet and he died, so I have to take care of it. <laughs> a disgusting hamster monster. <laughs> gigantic with human eyes. Up a, a quarter of the space in my bedroom. Yeah. I have to get rid of my bed and get a twin bed. I think you'd like that. It would be nice to be beholden to a demon. Yeah. I think so, too. Yeah. I think it would be nice to have... Uh, that's Some. the experience of 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 uh, at least fifty percent of dog owners, I would say. That's my life. I'm is what I just described. <laughs>